uh, war is costly. Whether it's a hot war or a cold war, uh, there is a great cost and a toll that, that these things take. And right now, the American people are paying this price. And the inflation that we're already seeing, gas prices are already going up. If this conflict continues to escalate, uh, what we are seeing now will be nothing compared to what we, the American people, will be forced to pay, not only through increased costs of, at, the, at the gas pump, but really the increased cost of living, increased cost of groceries, increased cost of these basic necessities as in, inflation continues to skyrocket. So really the, the big question here that the American people need to, to ask is, is it worth it? Martha, is it really worth it to the American people who will suffer and sacrifice and pay this high cost for the U.S. and NATO to expand their military outposts to Russia's border uh, within Ukraine? This is the, the answer that the American people deserve from President Biden. Is it worth it? And how does this serve our best interest? Because the cost will not just be for a few days or a few weeks. This is the cost that we'll continue to see increase as long as this, uh, this conflict continues to escalate. Well, obviously, a lot of people would like us to have the energy independence that we had before in terms of uh, liquid natural gas and all of the resources that we have in this country that have been curtailed in this administration. But with regard to Putin and what he wants, what, what, do you, what would you advise the president in terms of Putin's main two things, which are promise us that NATO will not take on any new members, primarily Ukraine, and please pull your, back your missiles away from the Russian border? Would you accede to those requests from him? Again, I think these, these uh, decisions need to be made within the context of what is in our national security interests. And you're correct. Those are, those are Putin's two primary concerns from his security perspective. When you look at our security perspective, it does not serve our national security interests to make Ukraine a NATO member, to put our military and NATO military there on the border in Ukraine uh, with Russia, because we will see, it's not an if, we will see a direct escalation and, and conflict there. Um, and if we put ourselves in that situation, we wouldn't want Russia putting their missiles on our borders either. So when you look at the reality of the situation and what is in our national security interests, uh, Ukraine should not become a NATO member. Uh, the United States, we should not be putting our troops on the borders uh, in Ukraine with Russia. Uh, and there is a diplomatic path forward that President Biden can take in recognizing what is in our mutual interests and put I, the I American people your, your perspective. first. Before